Next, we're gonna take a look at how to use the paintbrush feature in your stories. So you can see I've opened up a story at the back end of my story section, and I've uploaded a nice image of jewelry with some white bits that I can also add some more to. So I click on the paintbrush section, which is in between the text and the stickers at the top right hand corner. So just one of the middle ones, the paintbrush, and it brings up a little menu of different options. So the first one is almost like a kind of felt tip, and if you look to the left hand side, as I scroll up and down, you can see that I can make it much thinner and much thicker. So just to show you with the color, the thick one, that gives a really thick paint effect. And if I go right down to the thinner one, that gives a nice thin effect. And I love doing things like little love hearts with the thin one. I think it's a really nice feature to be able to use. Then I can use my color picker tool again. So I just click on the color pick on the left hand side and if I scroll along, then I can select a color that I think works well with the image. So that's the first one. The next one is similar, but it's a translucent kind of effect. So if I go to the thick area so that you can see and I do it over, you can sort of still see the image in the background. So it just gives a different sort of effect. And again, I've got a thin option there too. And anything I don't like, I can always press undo in the top left corner and it just takes it away. Then next up, I've got a kind of glowy effect one. So I'm on the middle part of my menu at the top of the screen now. So each one just gives a slightly different impact. And again, I can undo those and that can be thick and it can be thin. And of course, I can change the color at any point by clicking on the palette at the bottom or selecting my color picker. Then I've got my eraser tool. So fourth along, if there's something that I don't like, but I don't want to undo the whole thing, I might have written a bit of handwriting and just the last bit of it isn't right or something. I can go in and just erase. So I'm just using my my finger to just go ahead and erase. And you can obviously keep undoing everything. And then finally, this is more of like a spray effect, the last one. So if you want to do something with more of a spray effect across the page, then you can. And again, thick and thin, and you can do them on top of each other. Anything you like, get your creative juices flowing. <laughs> um, so in terms of what I actually use the tools for in my stories, I quite like using the very thin marker pen in a color that is picked and relevant to the story so that it looks really in line with what I'm doing. And I might do a little bit of handwriting. So, And I might do that a bunch of times and click undo and do it until I'm kind of happy with the effect. Um, I also might do it for love hearts, which I think I've shown you before. Um, but I do like do you like the love hearts. So yeah, I probably wouldn't use both. So I use this sparingly, like most things with stories, but it's just another string to add to your bow. And of course, you can undo any of the bits at any time. And finally, another thing that I use this for is on the thicker option. Um, if I go back to text, and let's say that I wanted to write some text to go along with this image. new collection coming soon and let's say that I wanted to keep it in white my font but it's on a white background I just wanted to do something a little bit different I can go back to my paint make sure that it's on a thick setting make sure that I'm happy with the color and just go across and give a nice background to that. It just gives something a little bit different. You've probably seen this on Instagram stories if you've looked at them, because quite a lot of people use this, but I think it's a nice, a nice little way of adding something a little bit different. So have a play with creating your own effects and handmade bits and pieces on your Instagram stories using the paintbrush. I think it's a nice string to add to your bow, as I said. And up next, I'll be showing you some more bits and pieces on how to make the most of your Instagram stories.